As fears of a Russian invasion of Ukraine rise, Moscow is flexing its maritime muscle with more than 140 vessels taking part in naval drills around the globe this month and through February. As part of the vast exercises, Russia's defense ministry said six landing ships from its Baltic and northern fleets would be operating in the Mediterranean. There are concerns the vessels could be deployed to the Black Sea to join an amphibious assault on Ukraine's southern coast if Russian President Vladimir Putin orders an attack on the country. If you cut Ukraine from the sea, it will be absolutely different Ukraine. No, no exit for the sea. It's a, it's a total disaster for Ukrainian eco economy. Mikhailo Samus is a security analyst with the New Geopolitics Research Network. Huge amount of Ukrainian import and experts going through through uh, Odessa and other ports in the south, and uh, of course the agriculture products, the main uh, the main source of of Ukrainian export. Russia has amassed more than 100,000 troops on Ukraine's eastern and northern borders, as Putin demands guarantees that the country never be allowed to join the NATO alliance, something the West has rejected. Russia's Black Sea Fleet has already rehearsed amphibious operations. In April 2021, Russian Marines and airborne troops held drills on the Crimean Peninsula territory Moscow seized from Ukraine in 2014. If Russia did attack from the sea, Ukraine's tiny naval force would be no match. But Ukraine does have coastal defenses that include Neptune missiles, Turkish-made unmanned aerial vehicles or UAVs, and military aircraft. So you need destroy uh, Ukrainian uh, aircraft, destroy all of possible UAVs and uh, uh, this type of uh, attack forces, and after this you need to destroy all of Ukrainian artillery before started landing operation. Before any invasion, Russia would be expected to launch cyber attacks to knock out Ukraine's power grid and internet, says the former deputy chief of staff of Ukraine's navy, Captain Andrei Ryzhenko. He's been closely watching the buildup of Russian forces. They behave in this Ukraine like, like gangsters, I would say. Ryzhenko was among several Ukrainian naval officers detained in Crimea when Russian forces, many in unmarked green uniforms, took over the peninsula and seized most of Ukraine's naval ships in 2014. Ryzhenko says this time Putin can expect stiffer resistance if he tries to capture more Ukrainian territory and should expect to pay a political price at home. We also will, will, will shoot them and kill them, and they understand. And uh, deaf bodies will come back to Russia. We, we are not making any fantasies about whatever, uh, joining NATO or not joining NATO. We're defending our country, and, and we're not uh, their slaves, actually. We're not their property. Another scenario could see Russian ground troops advance along Ukraine's coast from Crimea after they seize a canal that once carried water from the Dnieper River to the peninsula. Ukraine shut it down, and Russia is desperate to restore the flow of water to solve Crimea's drought crisis. If Moscow wanted to avoid casualties that might come with a ground or amphibious assault, it could instead choke off Ukraine's maritime export routes that run between tiny Serpent Island and gas platforms that Russian troops seized in 2014. can just blockade the Black Sea for Ukraine. With the Black Sea potentially playing such a vital role, NATO announced on January 24th that its members were sending more ships to the strategic region.